Good morning, all you cool kids. Happy Monday, June 3rd. Say June, it's July, July 3rd. I have to keep it down a little bit because my guests are still sleeping in the guest room. It's a little up to 7 a.m. We're up here, I'm having breakfast. Um, having some apple jacks with some fruit. So we got apples, bananas, and blueberries. Very healthy breakfast, right? <laughs> Doing some coffee from our makeshift cure. This looks like this because my real Keurig took a dump and isn't working anymore. So we're gonna have to find one at a yard sale pretty soon to replace that one. Because my replacement to, to that one, I gave to my parents when they came here because theirs broke. <laughs> so we're working out, out of this Keurig right now. Got a busy day today, got a lot to pack for the orders we have alive. Um, on my channel today, we're drafting fruit. We have to edit the vlog today, I have to list 550. A lot of stuff has to go down. Um, made a big boo-boo yesterday that I fixed this morning. Thankfully, didn't hurt me too terribly. Um, I ended and relisted last night, and instead of ending and relisting at 10%, I accidentally hit 50%. So, oh, those of you guys are not aware, every 90 days I end and relist my items, and I list my 10% off with the original price. So if the item was at 30 bucks, I will do 10% off. I would have 10% off and we were listed at, at 27. Last night, I guess I wasn't paying attention and I did 50 by accident. And I woke up today to a sale to a um, Seminoles ornament that I got from the eBay buyout that I know is for like $25. I woke up to the sale at like a 12.50 and I'm like, what the heck? I was like, did I send an offer on it? Like, why did this offer so low? And then I realized when I scrolled through my current listings, the last 20 plus, were listed at 50% off. <laughs> I was like, oh no. So I had to end them real quick, relist them at the regular price. Some of them were, would have been huge. I had a fish GPS boat motor thing that I was selling for 350 and it was relisted at like 175. That would have been a big mistake with that thing. So a lot of other stuff that was like 40 bucks that became $20, $50 that became $25. Thankfully, I guess the eBay, uh, thankfully with the eBay algo, it doesn't push them as hard as I thought they did. <laughs> Cause a lot of stuff was way under market price. It was like brand new with tag, new era hats that were selling for below used price hats and nobody bought them overnight. So I ended all of them really sell them this morning and now they're normal. So that could have been bad, could have been bad. So right now we're gonna have, um, we're now have, having breakfast, having our cereal, having our coffee. Then I'm gonna start pulling weekend orders. I hope my uh, my guests wake up by then because I have two things in the guest room that's old. <laughs> I have to grab them. So hopefully um, they're awake. So I have to wake them up and say, "Hey, excuse me, I sold something out of here." <laughs> Let me get Alrighty, guys. So we have packed all up. The orders, they're right there. We're gonna get those first. A couple things on my board I have to talk about that I wrote down. Well, one is get a different address for a guy that bought a blade. You guys will see later. He messaged me saying he, he's, he, has, he moved it to the factory, he wants that address there. Not a problem. Speaking of that, just got a message today from a lady that bought a KitchenAid for me back in the day. The nice KitchenAid with all the accessories that's like $200. And she messaged me really angrily today saying, how come it went to her old address when she moved? And I respond to her, how come you didn't tell me you moved and went to a new address? And her response was, eBay is supposed to know. What? <laughs> so in the past, when this happens, because she, she started a, uh, I didn't receive case, because it's been over a month, she hasn't gotten her thing. And according to tracking, it says delivered, uh, it says buyer's new address in transit to new address. That's what says according to, tra to tracking. I don't know what's going on. Usually in, this, in this, uh, usually in these situations in the past, you would call eBay. eBay says, don't worry about it. You did everything right. You, pack, you, you send it to the right address and whatever happens. Now of how eBay has been absolutely idiotic the last couple months, I have no clue how they're gonna respond. I'm hoping they're gonna be normal and say, hey, this is not your fault. You didn't tell me about the new address. 
but I legit have no clue. I have zero faith left in eBay, so I'm hoping they're smart and still give me my money or whatever, but I legit am doubting it right now. And another one is talk about storage I have on my, on my thing. Um, in the last video, I talked about how my dev pile is just what is left out there, plus the stuff that I bought. So like I have, right now I have one full bin and about half of a bin left here. And then here we have, these are like not really accurate because look inside of here, there's like three things, right? This is all I have left the house is just this one. And then that one down there is full of houses as well. We're getting further in the houses. Then after that, we have one bin here, two boxes here, two bins, three, four, five bins. And then we're done. There's no more death part, right? And some of you guys, uh, I'll respond to the ones of you guys that were nice. So there's a couple of just people that don't understand and accuse me of being a liar. And uh, uh, I know I get new people who come and watch this videos all the time, so I'll show you guys how it is. So some of the questions were from you nice people who were going, hey, what's in the boxes back here? You said you had no death pile. What's in the boxes back here? Or then the people that were angry and rude were like, you are a liar, you're lying to your people. Look at all the boxes in your garage, they're full of death pile too. So I'll respond to nice people. The, 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 the me people can go away. This is all stored. Uh, I, I talked about this already, but you guys might have missed it. This is all stored inventory. This is all listed, all stored. So for example, something sold out of garage 11 today. So I grabbed it there. Something sells out of garage seven. I grabbed it from here. Something sells out of garage 20. It's over here. This is all stored. This is all my stored plush. This is all my stored clothes. Everything in the garage is listed and stored. That there's no death pile in here. <laughs> I talked about this before how, uh, and it's all skewed and stuff in my thing. So. That, that's the answer to that question. It's, uh, I don't have any death pile in the garage. The only death pile I have right now is those two bins um, that I got this weekend. It's not technically a death pile. I consider a death pile something you had over a month. That's not a death pile. Technically, the Department 56 stuff isn't a death pile yet either, because I haven't had that for a month yet. <laughs> but it's all that's out in the Lanai. That's what I have left yet to list. We'll call it like that. My yet to list pile. So. There we go. Hopefully that answers that question. Anyways, now let's start with the orders. I don't know why this is over here, not over there. Um, it's the last thing I pulled up. We had this weekend a total of 45 sales on eBay for over $1,600. Leave the fan on, you guys. We'll, we'll leave the fan on. 45 sales for over $1,600. All eBay, no Posh, no Mercari, no Facebook, but I'm very, very happy with what sold. So let's get it. Let's get it. All right, at the top row, we'll start with the smalls. So the Bubble Matrix Magic the Gathering card, this came from that hoarderish yard sale. You guys should see it eventually on my main channel when we get to it. I got a bunch of stuff there, I think for 30 bucks. I don't remember anymore, but a really good. And there was a a big box of Magic the Gathering cards. I listed the ones that are worth listing, and this one was one of them, so for uh, 10 bucks. If you guys remember, a couple weeks ago, I sold a Magic card from the same house for $55. We got some games that sold uh, from Russia with Love, sold for like 15 bucks. I think this came from Pennsylvania. This one uh, was, uh, were they both? Yeah, they were both uh, bought on Friday, my Friday yard sale where I, did the three for 10 buys. These weren't the best games, but hey, they sell they sold fast. It's got 10 bucks on Harry Potter and I think 14 on Spider-Man, so. That's good. Um, sold my first one of these. I have a, I have quite a bit of them. They're like leather seal, Outback survival gear. I think it cleans stuff. I don't know, made in USA. I have no clue what it does. Leatherseal.com, weatherproof condition protects. Again, no clue. It's something about camping and survival gear and I don't know. I bought a bunch of them from a guy at a yard sale in Northport. And I think I was in a buck or a buck each, two bucks each. I don't remember. It was very little. And uh, I think I'm selling them for 20. Pretty sure. Yeah, they're selling for 20 each. I think I paid 30 total for like 14 of them. So first one to sell. This is the same yard sale where I got um, uh, these Tide Pods from. Both of them still haven't been opened because I have so many Tide Pods. Uh, so... Uh, 
he said town number. I think I paid him. For, I got him for eight for for my personal use. He was like one of those like um, liquidators slash extreme couponers people. So yeah, uh, that sold. Over here we got some Tevas. Uh, I think they came from uh, that yard sale in Riverview from people that watch my channel, but I'm not sure. Came from that weekend where I got a bunch of shoes, and I think these Tevas sold for thirty-five. We got a bunch of Department 56, a bunch of smalls that I've been listing from the Department 56 by Carolers and the doorstep. I think this was 15. Uh, Town Thinker, something I was thinking was 20. Um, this one's a good one too. Letters for Santa, this was also 20. And then Peaceful Gold Christmas Eve, this was also 15. So little small little accessories are selling. Let's list a bunch of them. And um, so we got 15, 15, 20, 20, 30, 50, 70 bucks. Department 56 right here. That already puts me in the profits, and as you'll see, I have more Department 56 that sold today as well. Zeno Christmas, we got more Christmas over here. This is Clothique. Clothique, I think I said pronounce it. I can't pronounce it properly, but uh, I can sell it properly. Uh, Santa sold for 35 bucks. Guys, I am i don't want to like, beat a dead horse here, but every time I see you guys see a Santa, it looks like this resin paper mache looking that is doing something Santas don't usually do. You don't usually see Santa baking. Pick them up, they're worth money. 35 bucks over here. Here's that blade that I said I have to change the address to. Uh, this listed during the Amber Research Challenge. I, I bought a um, food processor for a dollar free across Florida. I was gonna part out and just never had a desire to. I parted out with two different parts. This was one of them, so for $15. Then we had this weird lady, but she's a bolo. English, remember this tag. If you guys see something with this tag, pick it up. English costume dolls and Parker. Ann Parker is a bolo. Some Ann Parker dolls sell for some crazy, crazy, crazy money. I got that from the eBay buyout. I think I talked to you guys about it when I was said I was gonna put an auction and see what happens. I put an auction for things like 75 bucks. I got no bids. So then I just decide uh, to put like a buyout now for like a hundred and just see what's going on with it. And somebody sent me an offer. What did they send me an offer for? For 75 bucks, and I took it. So, 75 bucks. So, eBay buyout, I'm already way, way in the profit. This doll just puts a little cherry on top of that. Over here, we have a Ninja base, power base. This came from the auction house way back in the day, where I bought a Ninja with a million accessories and all the stuff has been selling. I have only a couple things left in the buy, and this thing was one of them, so for 15 bucks. Also, from the auction house was a fishing reel, a Zepco Lancer. Got 15 bucks for that. Here's the, my boo-boo mistake on this one. This is the um, Slavic Treasures Christmas Santa. This is the one that came from the eBay buyout that I ended in real estate for half off. Half off. And sold for $12.50, and that's like a $25 ornament. But eh, it is what it is. So it could have been worse, could have been worse. Then we have a manual back there, sold for 15 bucks, came from a manual buy. This is also from the eBay buyout, Sports Illustrated, getting away from it all, 1979 edition, sold for like 25 bucks. Got a set of three books here. Uncle John, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Got these at Fort Myers. Uh, supremely satisfying bathroom readers. And these are all things you read in the bathroom. There's a set of three here, sold for like 12 bucks. Then we got another part out here is the Oster Regency Arm. I think it sold for, well, I think it sold for like $25. I paid $3 for, for an Oster Regency thing that I completely parted out. I already sold the base, I think, for 30, and then I sold that right there. And over here at the top, we got some Uber sales. We sold this Primal PlayStation 2 video game with the manual. Sold to Juan Lopez in Long Beach, California. Juan did not leave me a message, but he's a repeat buyer. So either he is a viewer or he liked what he bought the first time. But anyway, thank you Juan for your purchase. Over here we got a really cute Fenton uh, bear. Our glass bear has a Fenton sticker on it. Just absolutely gorgeous. That bear was purchased by Sheila in Dalton, Georgia. Sheila has been a repeat buyer and I'm a repeat supporter of my channel. Thank you so much, Sheila, for your purchase. Hope you enjoyed the bear. He is very, very, very cute. Put him over here so it doesn't get damaged. Then we sold two Department 56 buys to also uh, another viewer. We sold the fire truck and this bridge. Both came from the uh, buyout, Department 6 buy it and these sold to Debbie in Oklahoma City Oklahoma 
Man, the, I'm saying the, the state of Oklahoma loves me. I know I have Debbie in Oklahoma. I have Anna in Oklahoma that supports me. I have Wanda in Oklahoma that supports me. Uh, I'm sure I'm probably honest a couple of you guys. Philly Flipper in Oklahoma goes together like peanut butter and jelly. You guys love me in Oklahoma. So thank you so much, Debbie, for your purchase. I will uh, pack up together and combine the shipping and return whatever extra you paid. Thank you, you all my viewers. You guys are great. Let's continue with the regular sales of row two. Francine plush from Arthur sold for 15 bucks. We got her at the Venice yard sale for the other plush. A Squishmallow giraffe sold for $14. Um, I think she came from the Mercari buyout, but I'm not sure. Um, Irish sign, Notre Dame Irish sign. This came from a yard sale in Northport, the one where everybody knew who I was. It's a pretty funny yard sale. Uh, sold for $40 there. It's the Power Ranger. I had it on auction for 50 bucks because he's a rare one, but the box is destroyed. And it's sold on auction for 81 or $82. So it's pretty good there. That puts me in the profit now in the Power Ranger buys. Power Ranger buys because I bought eight Power Rangers for $10 each. I sold the Rare Ranger last week for 80. This one's 81. So we're in the profit now. I still got six left to sell. Uh, Jim Shore figurine is the one I paid, I think, three bucks for. Uh, these guys for a camel and for a drummer boy and a palm tree that's broken. A uh, drummer boy already sold for like 30 something. I'm in the profit. These guys would have sold for quite a bit, but as you see right here, Joseph's hands are destroyed. Joseph cut off his hands. I don't know what happened to Joseph, but his hands are gone. I put that I, in the description I wrote. I wrote, read in the title. In the description I wrote, he has no hands. And then I took pictures, two pictures of the, of the hands. So people better see he has no hands. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, so uh, that thing sold for 30 bucks. Here we have a, a Pebbles, a, a Betty Rubble Friendstones costume, guys. Halloween costumes are selling in, in July. What the heck? Uh, that sold for 20 bucks. I got that in Palmetto uh, yard sale on my birthday. I uh, paid two bucks each for them. I have a Barney one as well. So Betty sold for 20. Here we have a Shimano fishing uh, finder GPS thing. This one came from an, a yard sale like a week ago, maybe maybe a week and a half ago. Um, in Northport, I paid $15 for that, sold for a hundred bucks. These are some Sony um, stereos, uh, sound speakers, sound speakers, sound, surround sound speakers. Sheesh. Um, sold for 25 bucks. I got them at uh, Fleet Cross Florida for $3. Have some clothes here. It's actually a pretty funny sale. This is a... Um, the Lucky Brand uh, men's shirt that sold for $17. I just did the video about this yesterday. Uh, it's coming out on my main channel today in a couple hours. Um, it's where um, I got a bunch of really good stuff. That it, it's, it's where I got the aviation thing I keep talking to you guys about. All those shirts that she threw in extras. Like this was from, from that yard sale. And while I edited the video, it still wasn't sold. So I put it under the listed. And then overnight it sold. <laughs> so it's now sold, it's not listing anymore. But it's pretty funny how that works out. Uh, so those sold for like uh, 17 bucks and then these Nike pants uh, sold for 20 or 25, something like that. Down here, we have a Moan Grab Bar. It's here from Pennsylvania. I'm not sure where I got it from. It sold for 25 bucks. And then over here we have uh, My Advent Calendar. I got this also in Palmetto. Same day as I got that. Uh, Halloween costume um, I think I paid two or three bucks for it that was super cheap uh, it was brand new open box sold for a hundred dollars so we take those this is a Maruki cat Maruchi Maruki cat bat it's, it's like a toddler bat but Maruki is a really good brand I got it in Fort Myers the same day where I got all the security systems I got that from a different yard sale I think I paid five dollars a bat there Pretty sure it's five bucks three bucks i don't remember Some, something low and that bat sold for sixty dollars over here we have some laser tag stuff i got this my first time going all the way up to riverview and i came to this yard sale like 11 o'clock he said i was his first customer the guy just had a couple signs out he didn't advertise anywhere and i uh, sold them for, to me for 10 bucks i think and it sold for uh, 90 dollars then we have more Department 56 to end up the, the show. We have the Department 56 Fieldstone Bridge. This sold for, I think, $35. And we have the Department 56 Fountain. This sold for $28, I think. And then we have the Department 56 Sir John Falstaff Inn. That one sold for $40. Bucks. You guys already know 
we were in a profit after these so that is pure money in my pocket these this this is pure money in my pocket and i still have six totes full of it right now listed and a toe and a half still have to list so we're going to do really good in that department six by we're going to do really 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 good on it anyways i believe that's it i don't think i missed anything uh, i think I, I got everything time to pack them up get them out of here okay guys we have packed up all the orders we have all of them going to usps besides the bat that's going to ups if we're gonna go to ups now drop that off go check the po box at the post office see what we got there then i gotta call ebay because during my shipping of the orders i got an offer i looked at the offer and said your ad rate is 19 percent if you accept this offer now i do promote listings but like i said i have a cap of 15 percent so I'm just confused on how they went above my cap and how long has this been going? And is this a thing? Is this an issue? I just got a lot of questions. So I'm gonna go call them right uh, and talk to them about that. Also talk to them about the KitchenAid. And so let's see if my afternoon is ruined with eBay. Uh, but we're done with that. We're gonna call, we're gonna go do our errands then come back, start editing. And while editing, I'll be on the phone with eBay. I'll figure out what's going on. Okay, so we talked to eBay. They said to reach out in like three days for um, the high my call it the mixer that says give it three more days, see if it gets there. And uh, so that way I don't have to do anything. And then if it still doesn't get there to call and then they can figure out what to do. But from what I'm getting is that I should be okay even if it doesn't get there to the right address and we don't have to change anything all that stuff so we should be hopefully good there with the promotions they're saying they're not sure what happened they think it's a glitch if i see anything um that isn't correct to call them there's uh but uh they but we did uh stop the current promotions and i started a new one with the same uh, cap this was the first time i actually started a new promotion since I moved. Um, I, I, like in, in PA, I used to like end all the time and start new ones here. Just the dynamic one where just whatever just happened, I would go into promotions. And I was happy with how things were working, right? So I, I don't have to change things up. Uh, in the past, sometimes it'd be like you would have like five good sales day and six day, it kind of slows down and you check your promotions and it's not really getting the, the, the effect that it's supposed to get. So I would have to end and start again and it would give like a nice boost and all that stuff and it, i didn't have to do it here so i never played with it until seeing those results but they told me that it's that it is just a glitch probably and then it hasn't happened in the past so but i don't know i'm gonna go check like my last i don't know i don't know if it's even worth it for me to check to be honest because i don't know what they're gonna do if like let's say I put the end cap at 50% and they've been selling things at 18 and 90% You think they're gonna return me those three percent four percent. I don't think they will. I really don't Then they be like oops, sorry So I don't know if it's even worth my time to go check to be honest So we're just gonna try to just forget about it <laughs> We start our new campaign. I'm gonna be more cautious now looking at things and make sure it doesn't go over to 15% but uh, Phoebe being Phoebe, you know. Uh, anyways, uh, we are on route right now to K and K Bakery, and we're meeting somebody to sell this Samsung. Um, what you call it? You guys like my name for things? Samsung. What you call it? Is what we're selling. It's called a Samsung. What you call it? And you watch my call of it. Uh, it's a tablet. It's like a, a Galaxy something tablet. The guy at a yard sale. I forgot what I paid. I think I paid ten dollars for it at the yard sale. Um, here in Port Charlotte, I cross posted it to Facebook. Can you tell me the guy? Okay, give me the thumbs up. Okay, so we're good. He cross posted it to Facebook. I posted it to Facebook and somebody locally uh, wants to buy it. So that's cool with me. I'm selling it for $100. He's coming from Venice. I'm coming from uh, Northport. So the KK Baker kind of a halfway point between me and Hamble. Not really halfway because he drove 25 minutes there i'm driving 10 minutes there but he said he just arrived i'm gonna be there in about five minutes so i'm gonna go hopefully everything's okay hopefully he likes it and there's no issues i get my money and we're out of there 
that'd be a pretty good little, uh, little sale. All right, everything's good. Um, we sold it for a hundred. Went to K because it was in K and K. I went and got some tiramisu for my peeps. Went and got uh, an ice latte right here. All set to go. No complaints for me. A hundred bucks cash in my pocket. Love it. Okay, video was edited. Uh, it's a rendering right now. We're gonna do our listing next. We're doing the 10 houses first. We're gonna bring 10 houses, accessories to the houses. We're still working on those, knocking them out slowly but surely. And then we're gonna do all the applause stuff I bought this weekend, all those little like, cups and stuff, and see what we can get there. And then we'll go um, to the next thing. I am doing a show tomorrow on Whatnot. I haven't done a show on Whatnot in forever, uh, but I'm doing a show tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be July 4th. Which I do at 4.44 p.m. See how it works. I'm doing $4 starts. I'm bringing some stuff that's going to be unlisted. Uh, and other stuff. I'm bringing a lot of stuff over. Some of the stuff that I haven't got the listing here yet. They have a ton of clothes there. It's pretty good. I might just bring it to whatnot at four bucks starts and see what happens there. Like I have some nice shirts and all that. And if it, whatever it sells for, it sells for. Um, and I'll be cool with that. And then, like I said, I have a ton of stuff in here, like a lot of Squishmallows, a lot of plush, a lot of video games, all these good things that um, should should do good. So it's uh, I'm tired of like storing stuff, storing things, storing things, and never having a show. So tomorrow we are doing it. We're having a show tomorrow. Uh, my guests have left. Um, uh, I have listed a couple of miscellaneous items and then ten of the houses. We're up to like two forty for the day and I have officially one bin left now of houses um, used to be a bin here it is empty this one used to be filled wait wait I lied I am not officially <laughs> I have one two three four I have five left here I, I really think I may have miscounted with my 70 estimate let's see I have five left and then we have this whole bin left. Six, seven, eight. I feel like there's still like 40 or something left. And we've been doing um, the tan thing now for uh, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, and Friday, I think. I think we did it already for four days. So I, I may have been off by like 10 or 20. I don't know. But we're, we're slowly getting I'm plugging along, still plugging along. We're still only on six totes. Um, they're super small, so they fit in the crevices of other totes, so I don't, I don't have to uh, bring another one in and then So we're gonna be on six totes for a while until all of them start selling then we're gonna start taking the totes down But we won't be on more than six all the stuff that is there it will fit in the in the six totes So we won't be needing a tote seven for the Christmas stuff. So it looks good though. Happy with how it's going um, Right now we're gonna like I said do the applause stuff next there are a couple of miscellaneous things from the weekend as well so i'll just have this some mugs left these lights that can get listed as well we went to the applause mugs so this is what we have from the mugs i have a couple other toys that were part of this buy as well but these are all the mugs I paid a buck each for them uh on i think it's friday so we have sebastian i have no clue i haven't ever watched a one-on-one -on -one dalmatian so i don't know who this guy is but these are the Disney ones. This looks like Nala or something from Disney as well. And then the rest of them are Looney Tunes, right? So we have two Tweeties. You got Yosemite Sam. You got two Tazes, a Bugs, and two Wiley e. Coyotes. So hopefully these do good. If they don't do good, might have to just sell them. There's a lot. So the Looney Tunes is a lot. So the Disney one is a lot. And then the other stuff I have is like a Flintstones, like Coin Bank. This guy. And then I have like a pool toy from Bugs Bunny. So, so that. We have like this cup. Is this a plaster? This could be a plaster. Let me look. I don't think it's a plaster, but we'll check it out. And then we have this like squeak toy uh, Dumbo. So those guys as well also are buck each. Same yard sells that plus stuff. So we'll do applause first, then we'll get to those and we'll see how much we have. Again, for Bucky, you can't go wrong. Where what I have two, four, four, eight, eleven, 
then what, four here. So 15 bucks total and all this stuff. All right, so I decided to list them in lots instead of just individual. They sold a lot better in lots. So we have three lots, a lot of four. That's gonna be in the office, a lot of four. And we'll do into this gonna be in my bedroom. And a lot of three Disney that I fit into a bin in the garage. And um, sold them for 50, 50, and 30. So that's $130 in listings right there. Brings us to, I think, 390 something. 391 for the day so far. About to go live for our fruit draft. So after the fruit draft, we're gonna list these four, uh, the extras, see where that gets us. I'm hoping they're at least 15 each. So 15, 30, it's 60. That's 450, that means to find another $100 and stuff and get our goal. We're, we're gonna hit our goal today. We're doing uh, fruit today for a draft. So I brought a couple of samples I learned from previous guests, like Ray brought chips for the chip draft. Uh, Ken brought hot dogs last week for uh, the thing, uh, for the uh, cookout draft. I have one, two, three, four, five fruits. Ideally, it will be amazing if I could get all five of my team and pick all them there. They're really good fruits though, so I think someone's gonna take them. I have watermelon, I have bananas, I have strawberries, blueberries, and mangoes. Uh, all that was just here. I think I'm bringing avocados as well to this show, but I don't know if I'm gonna draft avocados. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go in the back room right now, hang out with the peeps before the show starts, and then we'll do our live, and then hit our listen goal afterwards. All right, it is like 12.30, uh, the last, hours so the struggle bus but we finally got all the listings up with 563 for the day um it was rough because all the stuff that i want to list um wasn't listable quote unquote um i'll show you guys right here um i bought like the whole tote my first yard sale on saturday i'm smelling it now uh the one that i said smell like smoke I tried listing a lot of that I bought from it and they all reek of smoke. This whole tote is full of good stuff, but it just stinks. <laughs> so um, <coughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take it actually outside. And just leave it out there because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm already smelling it here and it makes me want to puke. <coughs> and uh, I, I talked to Julian today, Beer Thrift Machine, about getting the ozone machine that he got. And um, we'll run it through all that stuff. There's a lot of good stuff there. Run through all that stuff. Plus the Squishmallows that I bought way back in the day from the YouTube person still smell like smoke to this day. So we're gonna <coughs> leave, <coughs> put all that together. We have a whole smoke little corner outside and um, do that. So, so now I couldn't list anything from there. Besides that, the only thing I have left on the list from the weekend is uh, the silverware I'm gonna list tomorrow, and cause that's a big project. I only need like 20 more dollars, I don't want to really go do that. And then all the Christmas lights that I got, I'll do it tomorrow as well. But we did it. Well, we did it. We got all listed. This was one of those like struggle bus days, but we got it. We got it. So I'm happy. I'm very, uh, very happy to have got it done. Anyways, I'm super tired, guys. I'm off to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning.